So guys, once again, three beautiful motivational videos are here in front of you and the Christmas preparations seem to be going well. Now the first video we are going to watch today is about whenever you set a goal in life and that goal could be the biggest goal of your life. When you achieve it and then experience the joy and confidence that comes after achieving it, it's a feeling that you worked hard, staying up at night, leaving unhealthy food aside and focusing fully on your health and your earnings and when you are on that journey you also meet people who may demotivate you but when you reach your destination and those who have reached their destination might get an idea of that feeling by watching this video it's a video by david goggins but before that new viewers make sure to subscribe to the channel here we run such fantastic videos let's start the video in that round when rocky gets knocked down and Mickey's saying, stay down, stay down. And he's getting up. Apollo Creed thinks that he knocked him out. When you see Apollo Creed turns around, arms in the air, I fucking got him. You see when he turns around and looks at Rocky and watches him get up, and Rocky gets his gloves and motions him to come to him. Yes. Apollo puts his head down and just goes like this. It's not so much Rocky getting up. That's big for me. Apollo Creed's face yep. became every motherfucker that verbally and non-verbally, I got them all. I got them all on that phone. You know that, that, that little wheel you have with, with everybody's name on it and phone numbers and shit? I got them all on that motherfucker in my head. And I spin that bitch every motherfucking day. I know right now, whether you hate me, love me, whatever you want to think, I made it. I saw a lot of passion and anger in David Gogan's eyes. From his confidence and attitude, you can tell how much struggle he has gone through to change his life. This struggle is ongoing and no doubt he has achieved a lot in it. The world knows him as the strongest person, but the example of what he has endured to achieve these things is very rare. He is indeed an inspirational hero for many people, but even with so many qualities in a man, if a woman wants to choose a man, it's quite a difficult process. And how should that person be so that a girl likes him? This is our next video and Jordan Peterson explains this beauty. Let's see directly and quickly subscribe to the channel. Let's start the video. Women have a very, very difficult choice to make, right? Because they want to pick a guy who can win a competition with other guys. Mm -hmm. They want to pick a guy who can keep the psychopaths at bay. Mm -hmm. They want to pick a guy who's productive. Mm -hmm. But they also need to pick someone who's generous and capable of forming right. responsible relationships. Well, you know, yeah. talk about a play of opposites. <laughs> and you could imagine that any shift in hormonal balance is going to skew that in one direction or another. Joram Peterson has spoken so beautifully. But after listening to these things, it seems like perhaps rarely does someone in the world ever find a woman. Because such high qualities are found in very few men these days. The market is currently a bit light. There is a slight mix of pure material in between. But still, boys have gotten married considering themselves lucky. Because the competition for choosing boys is very high at the moment and strict rules are also in place for a woman. But for a man, these rules never apply. A mother accepts her son no matter how he is, loves him, nurtures him well. Now let's see in our next video what Andrew Tate's mother thinks about him. Is she happy with him? We talked a lot about your dad on this podcast and you've talked about him a lot, but about your mom, what role did she play in your life? My mother is a fantastic mother. Yeah, I take care of her, she's rich now. I, I send her money and she panics. She's like, it's too much. Oh, she has like a panic attack, I'm like, chill. Buy a Lambo. Her. How does she, she feel about where you are now? She's enormously proud of me. She always knew I'd end up here. I remind her of my dad. She knew who I was going to be. I love my mother with all my heart. She has no guidance she can possibly give me. She's mm -hmm. an old lady. She doesn't know anything. She just knows that her son is monumentally successful. Oh man, that's mean if Andrew Tate sent so much money to his mom. Can she buy a Lambo car? She's a rich woman. And why wouldn't she love her children? But the spice comes when the poor child is not earning. Then the parents scold him, saying him is useless if he doesn't work. If the child succeeds later, then it's his celebration. But if Andrew Tate's kind of child doesn't emerge, then the child spends his life tormented by the parents. So all the children should learn skills, earn money and keep their parents happy. Money is a reality. But make sure the money you have earned should be from the right way. If you have earned money in the wrong way, it will become a bone in your throat and you will regret it in the future. Wishing you hadn't done that 
So good kids learn skills, earn lots of money, and give it to your parents. And pray that one day, from our mouths as well, we say our moms go buy Lambo. But I don't know how much money has been sent. This is an interesting point. What do you think? This is it for today's video. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Take care.